Hello everyone and how are you all doing today? This is TechComp here uh, bringing you a, a video demonstration of the iPhone 5. Now if you realize this is my first ever video and uh, if you are going to follow this channel I'm going to do lots of uh, technological tutorials and bring you guys some newer uh, te uh, technological pieces that are going to be released to the market soon or anything pretty much pertaining to technology. So without further ado, here is the uh, video for the iPhone 5. These are all spec uh, specifications that are suspected to be found in the iPhone 5 in the release of October of 2013. Now the new uh, A5 processor chip, this is currently found in the iPad, well the new iPad, not the iPad 3, but the new iPad, um, and it's going to be a triple um, duo set and what this is going to do is it's going to make processes faster, load processes faster and it's going to improve the screen so we can see pictures in high resolution um, and the iOS 6 is basically going to sort of reform what we know as, uh, what we know as Siri and um, it's going to make you know phrases more clear and um, that's basically it, and it's going to give us a whole new dock and a whole new sort of perspective uh, perspective of the iPhone and the 10 megapixel camera. This is very interesting because they are actually going to enable three dimensions. Usually, even on the iPhone 4, we saw two dimensions. So I'm very interested to see what they do in the in three dimensions. Um, and it is going to be 10 po uh, 10 megapixels, which is very high resolution there's going to be a larger display so it's um, going to be possibly greater than or equal to four uh, inches and the iPhone 4 is 3.5 inches so you can do that easy comparison and it's going to have near field communication support which is NFC so it's they're going to install pretty much a, a newer chip to make uh, payments qu quicker and it's going to be easier to store your credit cards or debit cards on the iPhone a complete new redesign. I just saw a picture. Um, I can show you guys here um, of the home button, and basically what they're going to do is make the texture a bit uh, rig uh, rigid on the home screen. So you can um, tell by that that there is going to be a new redesign of the iPhone 4. It is going to be 4G LTE compatible. So it's going to um, increase download speeds and it's going to increase how fast internet connection is received and things such as that. It's going to be thinner and stronger so it can withstand more things and not crack as easily as the iPhone 4S and the iPod Touch 4G. Improved battery life which is such a big deal in um, you know the 4S how there isn't much battery life and people complain about that all the time and there are ways to sort of um, conserve that battery life but this is actually going to improve the battery life up to 10 hours um, on full bright screen so that's pretty good uh, smaller dock connector which is how we um, uh, sync on our computer um, increase of RAM which is random access memory so that's pretty good and uh, flash support so we can actually view flash websites and visit YouTube on uh, the internet without the YouTube component or the app but I hope they still have that um, now I'm going to take you to this picture and show you this isn't this is just a very um, sort of raw uh, diagram of what the, uh, what the phone is supposedly supposed to look like and as you can see here's the sort of handset I don't know what that's called I'm sorry but here's the front facing camera and here's the part of the redesign and you can see it has a thin chromatic finish so I am very eager to see how this comes out so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, please comment like and subscribe to this channel also if you can sacrifice uh, sacrifice three seconds every day follow me on twitter that will be in the link in the description also the sources that i've rounded up this information from and thank you and have a great day